Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 3 Seasons Late Night Edition. I'm Landros, and I felt really horrible about the boys sleeping downstairs in the sleeping bags in the lobby. It's like, you know, we've got homeless kids here. So I actually made some changes. Uh, the party's still kind of dragging to a close, but I want to show you what I've actually done to the house. I really didn't do anything over here to the front. In fact, um, Josh, why don't you go ahead and come on over here. Let's get you to clean up real quick. Go ahead and put this away because it's all good. Might as well leave it. Clean that up and then put this away. Anyway, I went ahead and I gave, um, what's her name? <laughs> Just drawing a complete blank. I gave Elise her bedroom back. Uh, whatever, stop it. And then you guys turn this off. Uh, I gave the boys back their bedroom and then I went ahead and I opened up the cheats and I expanded out the entire house. Um, I went ahead and I didn't take over the whole floor, but I just went ahead and took the bathroom out and I shoved it to the back, left everything pretty much as it was, gave Josh his own room back here, which Jupiter's decided he's going to take part of this room over, um, gave Josh his own computer and desk and whatnot. Um, I did give Josh a really nice TV back here, which we had gotten from uh, somebody, some uh, one of the celebrity things. So he's got his TV here. And then I put this... Uh, professional bar right here so the guys can actually learn how to make their own drinks and they can start practicing up because we do need to do that as at some point in this career now Josh what do you need to do tonight this is your birthday um, you don't have to work for a while but go ahead and convince this person I don't know where they are actually she may be dead because there's no picture up there so this person may not exist it may be an opportunity we can't do anyway the boys actually are going to have to go to school tomorrow, so I need to get them over here and have them go to bed. So go ahead and sleep in. That's not that's not yours. This is yours. Sleep here, and then Kyle, you're going to go ahead and sleep here. Elise, you're actually in bed already. Um, I guess if you guys would stop watching, it would be fine, and then they'd go home. All right, I'm going to assume if I do this, Jupiter, will you go home now? <laughs> Please go home. And then that's Barry. Barry... If you'd actually go ahead and go to bed, maybe they'll all leave. All right, I'm going to go with Josh real quick and see if we get this done. Josh is feeling a bit ill. Well, I need to get him a flu shot, I guess. At least his party was a modest success. The guests feel good about having attended. Yeah, until the old lady died. Um, I'm just surprised that it wasn't just an epic disaster, but that tends, tends to happen when you have people die. Um... Where are we going? I know we're going across the bridge, but I have no idea whose house we're going to since that picture didn't show up and I didn't look at the actual opportunity very closely. Please don't stop. Uh, why? Every single time. Um, and you'll notice there's nothing here. It's not like there's a substation or anything, but they always stop right there. So I don't like that. I wish there was a way to fix it. There probably is, and I just don't know it. But that's okay. We'll, we'll get through this. At least he's got his own car and he can go for a ways. Wow. This part of town is really... It takes a long time to get there. Now, it is getting close to midnight. But it looks like she's out there. She's a mailbox lurker. Or is that the person we need? Please tell me it is. That's Richie Stryker. Come on, now. Oh, are you done? I thought you were supposed to do this. Convinced that technology is good. All right, this is where we're supposed to be. I guess you got to open that up. No, you don't. All right, can you not get in here? Let's go visit their house. Actually, he's coming out, so we can get him. Yeah, whenever I do that, it always makes me think he's about to die. But that's just me trying to pinpoint in on him. Yeah, tis tis. We opened up your garage. I hope you don't mind. Ziba do. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. Hang on just a second. Sorry, I had to sneeze. I was about to lose it. All right, you handled that argument nicely. All right, we're going to go ahead and go. Um, yeah, going home. Going home. Um, Sebastian Stryker sees the logic in your opinion and isn't afraid of technology anymore. Here's some money for settling the argument, plus your relationship has improved. All right, well, that's fine. What is wrong with Kyle? Kyle, let me go take a look at you, buddy. Oh, he's hungry. Um... And this person still hasn't left? Lady, give it up! We're going to actually ask her to leave once he gets here. Go ahead and make her take a break from playing. Alright, I guess we can't. Well, maybe she'll leave before Josh gets home. We can only hope. And I think Jupiter left. Yeah, Jupiter went home. Did he take his mama with him? 
Uh, you did not just do that. You're going to wake my boys up. Oh, yeah. You know, now that you're up, tell her to leave. Stop doing that. Ask her to leave. You know, there's a time when the party is over and you've overstayed your welcome. That was about maybe four hours ago, lady. Okay. All right, he's going to go over here, and he's going to practice making some drinks. Now, to stock the bar, what do we have? We have nothing. Um, if we were like... Why don't you turn it on? Did you turn it back on, too? You're insane. All right, you're going to go ahead and practice making drinks, and then you are going back to bed. Go home. Go home. That's all we want. Go home. Josh, you work tomorrow in 12 hours, so you can do this for a little bit, but not for very long. So I want you to actually learn how to make something. Now my intention is to have one of the boys actually become the mixologist. And we still need to actually work on their band. They haven't done anything Whoa. together. But we got to go find a place to practice. Which of course there's all these different clubs we could go to. I'm thinking maybe tomorrow after work we try to call up. How do you do that? Um, <laughs> right here. Invite your band members and we'll actually do that tomorrow maybe at the bar. We'll go to maybe Wayland's or somewhere that's easy. All right, Josh, you did it. I don't know what you got. Yeah, he'll break a few glasses in the beginning. But he does have the skill, doesn't he? No, he doesn't have it. But he could be listening to the tabcast if I was smart and doing that. But I'm about to send him off to bed anyway. In fact, let's go ahead and have him use this. He needs to unclog it so the maid will actually fix it. And then take your shower. Go ahead and stop. And then I'll let you go to sleep. Who is playing the piano downstairs? It better not be that crazy lady. Oh no. I should have just taken over this whole apartment because you guys make way too much noise. I swear. And it's tiny. I mean, if you can kind of see it, like there's this little indent right here. It's a little bitty room here and just another room here. And I should have taken the whole thing. We had enough money. But I really didn't know what I wanted to do yet. But I'm thinking that I probably will go back eventually and just take over the entire thing. Um, and I'll just cut this down and maybe make another big bathroom here and a master bedroom over here. And then this just will be the tiniest lobby right here. And e even maybe just extend out the kitchen a little bit and just make it just really a tiny little foyer area where you come off the elevator and you go basically right into our house. Um, but that's what I'm kind of thinking. I don't know. I could be wrong. All right, I think we're frozen. Give me just a second. And I was right. Just one second. Okay, so anyway... Yeah, that was my thought, is go ahead and do that, and then just take over the whole thing. I mean, I took over most all of it. I don't know why I didn't do it. I was scared I was going to run out of money. That was the main thing. But I also thought, you know, I got enough that they'll be okay. And um, if we really run out of room, we can always go upstairs. So you can actually add another floor on here if you want. I think you can. I've never tried, but, you know, that was so easy to do that I figured we could do it again. If we had to. All right, so Elise, what are you doing? You need to go to the bathroom. Are you going to go downstairs to go to the bathroom? No, you're going over here. See, that's why it's got some kind of a routing issue that it they think they can get to it from here, but you can't. Um, I don't know what the deal is. Why don't you go ahead and clean out the bad food? And you guys don't have a garbage chute, do you? No, I guess you don't. I thought you did. Who's got the TV on? Oh. Barry, I'm glad you're up, and I'm glad that you are happy to do all this, but go ahead and eat leftover waffles, and then you can actually make something for everybody else. At least you're going to take care of your bathroom needs. Josh is on his way to bed. Okay. The boys are good, and they'll be going back to school. I'm assuming they go back to school. I didn't even look. Oh, yeah, they go in five hours. At least we got their grades back up. I mean, they're, they're still pretty good. And how much time do they have? Oh, they got plenty of time. Nine days? They should both have nine days. Oh, yeah. They're good. So we'll actually spend some time with them as teens here in Bridgeport, which, you know, like I said, I was kind of feeling bad at first that I had actually sent them out. But now the kids can't. <gasps> they can start practicing now? Oh, yeah. I should have probably bought two of these. At least... What's wrong with you? You lost your mind? Go over here and eat. Yeah. Well, get mad. Go ahead and get mad. See what I do. Nothing. 
You're going to work in 10 hours anyway. You probably ought to go to... Oh, well, buddy. There's this big thing. It's called a refrigerator. It has all kinds of stuff that you can put in that mouth of yours. All right, at least I'm going to let you go ahead and go back to sleep for a little bit because <laughs> not like you need it, but it's 5 o'clock in the morning. Why are you up so early? And we need to get rid of Lola's remains. Um, I'm trying to think. Who's off? Anybody off? I don't think Josh is. Barry's not. Elise isn't. I guess it'll have to be one of us, and uh, we'll take him. Barry, you're only up to level 2. What's your career? Because you're getting old, buddy. Ah, oh, level 3. What have you been doing? Mm. Sitting in your house doing nothing? <laughs> Got a zoo. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Alright, well at least you guys are eating together. You're fine. Ay, 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 ay. Ian, you didn't even like her very much. Alright, let's see how you are. Yeah, you're hungry too. Go ahead. Oh, you already... See, now you know what a refrigerator is, don't you? Elise? There's a thing called a dishwasher. I gotta teach you guys everything. Okay, Barry. You're cooking. Barry actually, um... He looks like he's pretty well cut. Look at him. He's got his little abs and everything showing. I'm impressed. And you've been doing absolutely nothing else in your house except working out. Now, see, you know how to clean up. Ian, you're supposed to, oh, that's bad quality. Well, you know, you pick the stuff that's good. Here I am talking, you know, giving you nice things, and you're just, oh, look at that. That's nasty. Can you, oh, uh, that's already done. All right, so Josh, if you're going to get up, no, that's not Josh, that's Barry. Barry, if you're going to be up, of course you're going to dance. I'm getting rid of that thing. I promise I'm going to get rid of it. All right, well, do whatever you want, but, okay, that broke. Can we break this? Turn it off. Um, can somebody fix, are you going to fight with me on it? <laughs> I thought he was going to fight. Yeah, Ian wants to go back to bed. Well, Ian, do you need anything? You still haven't eaten? Poor guy, there's food right there. Go grab a plate, and then you can put it away. Um, Barry, we have a maid. We don't have to do that, but we appreciate your help anyway. Um, go ahead and use that, and then you need to go ahead and use this. Ian, do you need to do it? Oh, yeah. Alright, Barry. <coughs> Enough. He's going to have to use it. Yeah, that's why I really should have taken out the rest of it, <coughs> rest of the house so we could have another bathroom. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, this can get old really quick. Whoa, where am I going? Okay. <coughs> and Barry, if you've got nothing else to do, and since the maid's not coming for a while, go ahead and clean that up. <coughs> Okay, guys, give me just one second. Hang on. Sorry, I am coughing like you wouldn't believe. It's awful, and I don't want to do it on in the mic because it's really loud and obnoxious. I do apologize. I try not to do that. All right, Winter Festival is here. You guys got to go to school, and um, at least he knows he's going. Are you going? Yeah, you're going. All right, come on, guys. Get on out. Now, Barry... You could actually clean this food out, like I told you the first time. Ay, ay, ay. Alright, well, since you're done, we'll let Barry clean it up, or repair it. You just moved in. You gotta find some way to show, show that you're useful. And then I really could have him try to do this, but I don't think he can. Now, my thought was... Barry and Elise could have a baby, and I don't know. I'm still debating, but they're not married yet, so we could do it. All right, guys, you're at school. No, you're not doing normal effort. you got to meet new people because you guys probably don't know anybody anymore. 
All right, well, is he still upset about his? Yeah, he's still upset about his mom, which I can understand that. That's fine. But where is Kyle? Kyle, come on out. Um, at least you ought to go ahead and. I guess is it Monday? Yeah, go pay the bills. Let's go ahead and pay them, and then might as well accept our gifts. See what we got. Okay, and then I'm going to get out of the house, hopefully, soon, but it's hard. There's nowhere to go during the winter because it's just, I mean, it's not that there's nowhere to go. It's just that it's really busy, and, I mean, the, the weather's usually really bad, and I don't know. Okay, Barry, keep working. Uh, we're going to go down and spend some money, which we're good. We don't have, we don't have to worry about it too much right now. Oh, do we still have the mailman coming? Oh yeah, but we got a maid that takes care of it. That's why. Okay, I was gonna say, didn't know that we still had the mail. All right, go ahead. Let's see what we got. Oh, we got a lot. Okay, let's take a look. Um, this is used on Supernatural. Say for the Donovan's Nest generations. That's coming up next. Uh, Scrappy Doo says, says enjoy. Let's see what we got. Oh, we got the snooze alarm clock, and I cannot send anything back until tomorrow, so I do apologize. From I Can Has Cake, oh, that's the other one. Oh, from Scrappy Do Again, a little something for your Sims. Enjoy. We got the bookshelf. Okay, very nice. Um, the bookshelf, I don't think we have one up here. Oh, yeah, we do. Okay, I Can Has Cake too. Holy Mother of God, why don't you ever get a car? <laughs> Hope this helps. Uh, I don't know. I don't know why we don't get a car. Well, we got a stereo. We get all kinds of other stuff, though. All right, so from Scrappy-Doo, well, I hope one of those was a, dare I say it, C-A-R. No, it wasn't, but we're going to try one more time. Come on. We got the Roman coffee table. All right, well, yeah, I, I think there is really some kind of conspiracy as to why I don't get one. So from Maria, Maria Bernabel, you are welcome. I'm so happy you got something useful, but I was hoping you'd get a car. Hopefully this time you'll get a nice car. Mm, okay. We got a sun disc. <laughs> so it's it's all just kind of getting funny at this point. Okay, so from Mar Maria Bernabel again. I love your LPs. Keep up the good work. Fingers crossed it's car. Well, thank you for enjoying the LPs. I appreciate you guys telling me that. Um, we got the Diva Doll poster. Well, it's not quite a car, but that's okay. All right, and then she sent us one more. This is actually the message from the game. It's 1,250 simoleons. Very nice. And they could use it because they're going to end up spending that money on all their bills. All right. You've got five hours until you have to actually go. Um, did you guys call the repair person? No. Can you repair it? I wonder if you can. Well, if I click on it. I don't think you can. I really don't think you can. No, you can't do it. What am I even thinking? You can't. Oh, well, you can try, but no, nah, you can't do it. I wonder if Josh could. Josh, do you have any handies? Oh, yeah, Josh, you could probably do this. I know, I know. You're hungry. You're always hungry. Go ahead and try to repair it, and then I'll let you go ahead and eat something. Eat some waffles. Barry, good deal. At least the guys have clean, have repaired. Why don't you go ahead and go over here and uh, mop up that puddle, and then you can use the bathroom while you're in there. Barry, what are you doing? Uh, you're going to go back to bed? No, you're not. You ought to use the bathroom while you're in here. You can do that in front of your girlfriend, can't you? I would hope so. Yeah, you can do it in front of her. Alright, go ahead and shower real quick. And then you guys will be taken care of and ready because he's got work too. Did you shock yourself? I know. You're, you're too hungry to do that, aren't you? Yeah, you can't repair it. Well, go eat first, and then you can come back over here and repair it. Well, I tried. Oh, we actually call for a repair technician? All right, we'll forget that then. I forgot. We did do that. All right, how much time do you got? Two hours. You really don't have any time to go do anything. I'm kind of stuck with you here. Now, I could have a funeral for Lola, but I'm not going to. I mean, she was kind of a tramp, but that's all right. Not that they don't get funerals, too, but that should be Matthew's job. All right, Barry. Just don't stand there and look at the wall. Find something to do. <laughs> yeah, that idiot made. Okay, I love it. Um, 
Oh, somebody likes, oh, the repair person likes Barry. Well, Barry, why don't you actually make sure that you guys are still a little bit more romantically involved? Why don't you compliment her appearance this morning? And I'm going to get rid of this thing. I promise I am. All right, so Kyle's got to improve his writing skill. All right, we got to work on that. Turn that off. Go ahead and um, you want to go ahead and kiss, kiss your girlfriend. Oh, yeah, your relationship's still strong. You guys are good. Mm -hmm, she likes it. And he's only a two-star celebrity. All right. Because if they are going to get together, I'm thinking we'll do it later on, maybe in the spring. Um, go ahead and flirt. All right, at least you're about to have to go. Josh, you got to go. So, Josh, I'm going to go ahead and get you set up to go to work now. Oh, you're already on your way. Um, so I don't have to do anything with you. At least I'm going to send you on out. Barry, you got three hours. So what we need to do right now is we need to work on your cooking skills. So let's go ahead and just serve up something real quick. Why don't you go ahead and make um, Goopy Carbonara. And Josh, what are you doing at work? You need to be just in a good mood. Um, you're actually in a decent mood. I'm going to let you work hard. <laughs> okay, our elevator is going to eat all of our people. Um, at least you're actually perfect. You actually are the one that definitely is going to work hard. And that should get you bumped up to maybe level 8 tonight. Josh, you should be getting up to level 8. Hopefully, if you work hard enough, you will. And Barry, poor guy, you're just going to have to do the best you can to keep up. The kids, oh, they're almost out of school, but I think that they no longer have any activities. Um, I could get them part-time jobs if I wanted to. I don't think I want to do that. I'm going to have him sign up for after-school study club, and then we need to do something. I want them to have... Mm, I always do sports. We're going to do music. Kyle, you're going to do the same thing. You're going to do study club. And I, let's see. Mm -hmm. I could do art. Which one? I forgot which one's which. Okay, he is... He would actually do better with sports. But he's actually very good with music. So I did okay. Well, all right, let him go with the arts. That's fine. All right, Barry, we're back with you. Don't disappoint us. Um, you know, made watching somebody cook like that, that makes me nervous. That's all right. Just go do your job. we got to pay you anyway. Yeah, I really should have just gone ahead and taken over the whole floor. And maybe I'll just go ahead and do that now. Or not right now, but I'll do that in a little bit. And we'll just go ahead and take the whole thing. Uh, oh, okay, somebody's having problems. All right. All right, Barry, since you've got to go to work, I'm going to go ahead and put this away for you. Come on, Barry. We'll go with you. I, I'm sure you guys saw where he worked. I think we saw where he worked. All right, Elise is on there. She can go do filming work. All right, let's go with Elise and let's let her do this. All right, Elise, we're going with you. Go perform this job. What, you were just sitting downstairs doing nothing? I bet you were missing work. Oh, you're missing... Hmm... Go to work. Go to work. You are making me mad. I mean, you probably were doing what you're supposed to do because you did bump it up, but it said you were unroutable. I don't know why. All right, Barry. You should be doing what you got to do. I got to go with you guys to make sure you do what you're supposed to do. Josh, you're actually there. You're fine. Barry, you're actually working. You're going to suck up to your boss. Well, you really ought to be working on your cooking, so practice cooking instead. And where do you work at? I think you work at the nice place, don't you? No, you work at the diner. Okay, well, I thought you were working at the nicer restaurant. That's all right. Still the same, I think, isn't it? I think it's the same amount of money. Okay, so there you go. At the diner, way out in the middle of nowhere, away from everybody else. Kids, on the other hand... Um, I don't want you guys to go home, so let me go back in the map view real quick. I would rather you guys go somewhere where you can actually study. And what we're going to do is we're going to take you guys over to the art museum. Go ahead and go with Kyle. All right, come on. I'm going to go down here with him. 
I figure I don't really know how to use this thing at the art museum. I guess you need to get the painting skill up and then you need to start selling and having your pictures done uh, hung in that gallery. But until I do, this is one town where I can use that, um, that venue and I can turn it into something that I can do other things with. So we're going to go over there and use it. All right, so they're in the music club and the debate club, or the um, study club. So that should help on their homework, which I'm hoping that their homework's already done, but it's probably not. No, but I think debate club or study club supposed to make them do it faster. Man, it's a blizzard here today. All right, well, come on, Kyle, we're waiting on you. I mean, really? And it's only Monday. My goodness, what's it going to be like by the end of the week? Okay, now if you didn't see the last episode, you know that, um, then you probably don't know that I changed all this and I gave them uh, some more functionality in this in this room. All right, go ahead and get in here. Come on. Once he's in here, I'm going to have him sit down and do his homework. You can do it here. Please tell me you'll go to one of those nice tables. That would be the ideal place for you to go. Come on, let's see if you can do it. There's beautiful tables right there waiting on you. Come on, Ian. Do what you got to do. All right, okay, they're going to go to the bar. Well, why don't they just go right here? Come on. There's a place there for you. Oh, okay, because you both wanted to go to the bar. All right, well, I did not place this bar. This is what actually came with, with um, Bridgeport. So if that's in a bad place, it's not my fault. Call the EA people. Don't blame me. Oh, you're just going to stand up? You can't go sit in one of these nice, comfortable chairs? You don't make any sense. All right, anyway, um, apparently the food register, this person is not here today. The store is closed. So I don't know why we don't have somebody. Who's this lady? Lady Cook. <laughs> okay, she is somebody. Um, you, on the other hand, why don't you go ahead and... Are you hungry? Yeah, you are kind of hungry. Why don't you order some food? Go ahead and get some egg rolls. I don't know where you were going to go, but you're going to order egg rolls and get your food taken care of now. And then, is there anything else you can do here? I should have put in an art easel. I was kind of hoping they already had one, though. You know, he's going to drive me nuts with that crying. Oh, I know what he's going to do. He's going to come up here. All right, let's go ahead get your food. Ian, are you finished with your homework? I think you are, and you're kind of hungry, too. Go ahead and order food. And you can have mm, frog legs. Spending all your money, but mm. that's all right. Mm. And I'm not even worried about the rest of them. Not worried about mm. what they're doing. Yanks, uh, zingle mills. Mm. Okay. Man, it just looks cold. I mean, really. Okay, you're going to have to clean up your own dishes. Well, you know, then you shouldn't have had to pay that much money for it either. But, see, now I put this in, so if you don't do this, then they'll have to go to find a public bathroom, and they'll have to go over there and do it. So it's better just go ahead and do it. Put it in here now. Okay, you guys actually... Oh, well, he's going home. He needs some fun. So we got to go work with Josh for a little bit. Come on, Kyle. No, don't ask for an autograph. Go upstairs. Leave him alone. We don't care. Well, you're going to drive me nuts, aren't you? Why don't you go ahead and come upstairs, too? All right, you're going to come over here. What's that? Oh, have a water balloon fight. Now, you know. You know what I'm doing. you got to go over here to this bathroom, or this hall, this art thing, and you're going to just use the bathroom on the wall. Let's see if you get thrown out of this place. <laughs> oh, that is too funny. <laughs> yeah, you really are just peeing in the art. You are now part of the art. All right, you go ahead and do the same thing. You know, come on. And Kyle, go ahead and get out of the room because he won't be able to go if you don't do this. Or maybe you will. That is too funny that you can do that. I didn't know if you could or not, but I, I mean, it makes sense that you could, should be able to. All right, I think there is. Is there an R diesel over here? No. Is there one upstairs? No. That's what you actually ought to have over here. You ought to have, ought to have all the art equipment and. I could come over here and put all that stuff in here, and then they could actually use this place as a place to study art. 
maybe even put like the architecture bench and all that stuff in here. I don't know. I don't know what it does. I've never done it for very long. Uh, does Josh want to go out with Lisa Chastain? He needs some fun. Yeah, go with him. All right, you guys. You guys have had. You've done enough damage in the art museum. Um, why don't you guys have a fight here in the? Not a real fight, just a water balloon fight or something. Um, let's see. Go ahead and have a water balloon fight with Kyle right here. It'll probably make you go outside though. I bet you it does. I bet it makes him go outside in the snow. Can you do it here though? It'd be nice if you could. No, I guess not. Can you? Oh, you don't want to snub him. Be friendly. Go ahead and complain about art. Now go cry on his shoulder. Alright. I don't know. I'm going to go see what Josh is doing with this date. He went to a bar. Which bar did you go to? Or you don't even know he's heading to a bar. Okay. And at least, what are you doing? You're going home, aren't you? I don't know. You just go ahead and go home. You're tired. Josh, are you tired? No, but you just are having no fun whatsoever. So let's go take care of that real quick. Barry just left work. Alright. Yeah, they don't have enough flat space. So that's fine. You guys ought to go home, too. Barry, go home. At least go home. Where would Josh? Come on, Josh. Let's move it a little bit faster. Where is he headed to? Is it the Aquarius that you're going to? Have no idea. I hope he knows because I don't know what he's trying to do. But he ought to answer that phone. Or just ignore it. Where's ignore? Where's ignore? Oh, there we go. That is so annoying. Um, those guys are walking faster. You took all this time. Okay, I was going to say, if you were taking all that time just getting in the subway, I was going to be so upset with you. Is this her? No. I guess this is where we're going. I don't know where this, which one this is, but apparently we are heading in this building. No, we're not. Oh, he faked me out big time. Or maybe he didn't. Josh? Oh, is this this old lady that... Is that our date? you got to be kidding me. Josh, this old lady's going to be your date. All right, well, let's go ahead and... Whoa! Apparently, wherever we're going, it's supposedly here. I'm going with you. Don't lose me. Okay. Um, I have no idea. Oh, somebody else has died. Is that our date? Yeah. Josh, your date died. <laughs> um, ultimate bad date, Josh. That one going down in the books right there. Doesn't mean you can't go on with your date anyway. Ultimate bad date was when she dies. You know, of course, that's what happens when you're dating elders. Jupiter, you've seen enough death this week. I think you're pretty good. Um, is this our boat? Oh, that's Raphael. That's our that's our best friend. And who's this one? Trist that's Tristan. He didn't leave. But he got old. And Kirby Wise. Alright, well everybody's showing up. Romeo. Romeo's about to go too. He's old. He's been old for a while. So he's he's not got much time. Raphael and you guys let's see if you guys can go on up here. Uh oh. Who was that? Oh, she disappeared on you. Alright, everybody, get in the elevator. Did the old lady leave anything? She left nothing behind. Alright, well. We'll go with them. And bye, Tristan. You were too slow. Alright, where did we end up at? Okay, I like this one. I think I like this one. Is this the one with the hot tub? Yeah, it's the one with the hot tub on the next floor. All right, well, why don't you go ahead and let's go ahead and what do we want to do? <laughs> we're going to go over here and we're going to blow bubbles. Wait, who died? I just thought somebody was dying. I really did. Um, can we get in? Oh, we can. I don't know if they can. Oh, you got your photo taken. All right, tear up the dance floor where? Uh, got to go dance for three hours at the Aquarius. That's outside. We're not going to do it right now. We're going to go ahead and go on in. 
Um, I want you to go. I really wanted you to go upstairs, though. So really, this is where I want you to go. I want you to go blow bubbles, and you can blow cotton candy. To heck with getting your autograph. All right, let's see. When do you work tomorrow? 14 hours. So you don't have a whole lot of time to do this. I mean, I know that's more or less the exclusive part. Let's see. Is Raphael leaving? No. Good deal. He won't leave. Let's see if he'll join us real quick. Um, nope. He's not going to join us. He's going to the bathroom. Can't ask him to join. You can call him over, though. Uh, you could kick him out of the band. I don't think so. Alright, so anyway, Josh is actually going to do his little bubbles here. And you do this long enough, it's a hidden skill. He'll start to learn how to actually have... Um, he'll be able to do hearts and uh, plum bobs and llamas and all this other stuff for his bubble shapes, which is pretty cool. And of course, he does it long enough, he'll get a little moodlet and everything for it. But, I don't know, it's just something different for them to do. So this is giving him fun, and that should be building up that fun meter right there. So that's it. Uh -uh. Unfortunately, Raphael won't come over here and join us, but I tried. I tried. I do like this bar. Um, I didn't edit it, did I? No, I didn't really do anything at all. Um, but it's cool. There's, there's a few things for them to do. Not a whole lot, but there's enough. Um... I can just come over here and drink on this floor, I guess. Which he is kind of hungry. So, you know what? When you're done, why don't you go ahead and order food? I know it's going to be... Let's see. Mm, 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 mm. It's expensive wherever you go. I have no idea how late this bar stays open. I really don't. We'll go downstairs to see if anybody else is here. Yeah, they're kind of here. Unfortunately, though, with um, all these restrictions, a lot of people can't show up. So... If they don't have a celebrity star, then they're out of luck. And you'll have all these bars empty. That's why you tend to do better in places like The Grind or Wayland's Haunt, which is where we were supposed to go after work. I did remember. But for some reason, we didn't go. All right. So anyway, um, he needs to read a film book. So what I ought to do is let him... I'm going to let him finish up because you know, this does... It doesn't go indefinitely. He does have a certain amount of time he does it, and then he's done. Yeah, it's got some little interactions that he does with it, but it's really not a whole lot. You can buy it and put it in your house if you want. Don't know if you really want to do that, but see, there you go. He's finished. All right, when he's done, I'm going to let him go ahead. He's going to read. Actually, he needs to probably go home before this bar shuts down, and then we get stuck getting kicked out. So go ahead, buddy. Who was that? Yelson. Lucas Olson. I like the way they decorate everything over here. Some of them, some of the places are good. I like this back here. I have to remember how to do that. I <laughs> can't. Um, all right, Josh, you only had to pay twenty-eight dollars for that. That's pretty good. Tristan, you just retired. Hey, you're not gonna be living long. Once you retire, it's almost over. That's excellent quality. Very good, Josh. All right. Well, when you're done, you go ahead and go home. And this was the Prosper Room. So. Got to remember, I do like the Prosper Room. You guys are sleeping, sleeping. Um, what's he been doing? See, if you don't check on him, he's exhausted. Oh, he's just sitting there crying all day. Crying all night long. Go to sleep. Actually, you know what? Forget that. You've been up long enough that you should have done something. You should have done something about your smelly self. Go to sleep now. Josh, when you get home, um, can you make a... You don't know how to make anything. But you're not really that tired, although you really, you do need to go to bed. So I need to make you read that book. But I'm going to let you go ahead, go ahead, come home, go to bed. And, yeah, <laughs> they're all lined up in a row. If their bed was turned, that'd be too funny. I'd be like, okay, I can just check them, just sit there and click on them one at a time. But no. But yeah, I really think that if, if I want to, I could tear this out. I could use this part right here for a master bathroom. This part over here could be a master bedroom. Uh, I don't know about this little section right here. I'd have to think about something for that. Um, extend the kitchen over here to include this part. And then this room over here could probably be part of their den. 
I could just extend their den out and then make something. I don't know. Now I'm getting a different idea. I can make. I can do a whole bunch of different things. So I have to think about it. So one way or the other, we're probably going to take over this whole floor. That way we can at least not have to worry about moving anywhere. Because I think there's nothing in our town. In fact, don't kill me, guys. Let me just go ahead and take a look up here. If you look in Edit Town, if it'll ever show up, um, there are no empty places at all in the downtown area. Nothing. So even if we wanted to move, we couldn't. If you wanted to move into these little houses out here, there's nothing. We'd have to kick people out. And if we were trying to go over back to the celebrity part, yeah, there's my timer. I'm sorry. I'm not quite ready. If we go over here, nothing available. So this house, unless we want to build something on this empty lot, but this entire place has finally filled up. So we got a whole huge, or um, a completely full bridge port. All right. There you go. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and make sure Josh gets home. Josh, where are you at? You have no idea where you are. I think he got kicked out, and even though I was trying to. I know i got four gifts. I'm going to hold on for my generation family. Oh, but I am going to check a friend request. Got to check those. And I can't read that name. This is I Heart Sims Forever. Okay, what do you want to do? I want to accept. There you go. All right, so Josh, is it going to take you this long to get home? probably so oh wait no you're right there so let me make sure he can actually make it here before I don't want him to get abducted but yeah it is after three so he shouldn't get abducted and I don't think we have we been abducted here in Bridgeport I don't really remember maybe when we were at the other house I know we saw the alien come but I don't think anybody got abducted I could completely and totally be wrong I really could but I'm just not I'm not remembering if Josh got abducted at all and I know the kids didn't. Um, who's this guy? Alvin. Don't you have a home? Alright, well. Maybe we took yours. I don't know. Alright, guys. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and end the part here. When we come back, hopefully I will have decided whether I'm going to go ahead and take over the rest of this. We didn't make a whole lot of money, so I don't have a lot of money to play with. But I probably have enough that I can take over this. I may not do a whole lot with it. I just may go ahead and expand it and just be ready to. So the, mo the main thing is I'd like to go ahead and get another bathroom in this place because three bedrooms with only one bath, it's a little bit much. All right, Barry, what are you doing? Are you tired? And now Lisa's up. You guys are on this weird schedule that you just get up at four o'clock in the morning, so I don't understand you. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.